What is good everybody, it is Spill here and welcome back to the NBA 2K Lab channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my absolute favorite build in NBA 2K24, my 6'5" perimeter threat. Each threshold was meticulously selected and honestly I feel like I've gotten the absolute most out of this build. It's an offensive powerhouse with access to 7 hall of fame shooting badges meaning you can pull from anywhere without hesitation. Mid range, 3 point range, deep range and with the most recent buff to limitless range this build is only going to get better. After hitting a couple shots it seems like the window opens up which makes it extremely easy to shoot and keep a hot streak going with hall of fame green machine. I did make this build as a guard but the playmaking is still top tier with access to some of the best sigs allowing me to get easy crabs whenever I want. Now while I love the shooting on this build and that is the primary focus, what makes this build special is that it has the ability to generate easy turnovers on ball or even off ball. With a high steal rating and decent perimeter to help contest shots, this two way shooting guard is a very tough matchup in the rec. And I know you may be wondering about the finishing but trust me, it might be the most underrated part of this build as it can damn near finish with the best of them. Even at 6'5 with minimum weight, we're still getting big dunks under the rim. This build is a true 4 level scorer and was made to get buckets and still play defense. Be sure to watch the whole video through as I'm going to explain in detail why I chose every attribute on this build. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more 2K24 content like this and let's get right into it. For starters, we're going with a shooting guard at 6'5 for the height, 175 pounds for the weight, and then we have a wingspan of 6'6. Jumping right into the finishing, my idea here was to make sure the build can be an effective dunker. When my matchup sees I have a 97 three-point rating, they're probably not expecting me to go throw down a hammer, so it definitely adds another dimension to help my overall game. And I know layups are really good this year, but for me, I prefer to dunk the ball. And to do that effectively, I wanted a 75 driving dunk, which is going to give me access to the best low-level packages. Not only a 75 driving dunk, but as you can see, we also have a 76 standing dunk. Now if you didn't know standing dunk is the cheapest attribute to upgrade on a 6.5 and I basically upgraded this for free with no detriment to the rest of my build. With my standing and driving dunk at least 75 I have access to the Giannis dunk package which has some insane standing dunks and even an overpowered driving dunk animation so when I do go dunk the ball I definitely leave people pretty surprised. Here's my full list of animations that I'm currently using. I try not to equip too many and stick to the ones that really work the best for me. I typically don't equip dunks off of two feet as well but if you guys know of any other glitchy dunk packages for lower dunk ratings feel free to leave it in in the comments below. Moving on to the primary focus of the build, we have our shooting and right away we're going to give this build a 97 three point rating. Now I did a lot of thinking with this build trying out a 98 three point for Hall of Fame agent and 99 three point for Hall of Fame limitless but I decided to settle on a 97 three point rating and just go for the Hall of Fame blinders. We've been doing a lot of testing at NBA 2K Lab and the effectiveness of certain badges at these higher ratings like 97, 98, and 99 are tough to justify when it comes to rounding out the rest of your build. Take for example agent 3. I decided to skip on Hall of Fame agent 3 because the the middle make percentage was pretty much the same as the gold level. That's not to say there isn't a boost, but it's just not visible in the middle of the window, so people with perfect timing won't be able to tell much of a difference. And then when it comes to limitless range at the Hall of Fame level, you could forget about it. Although it does have a good boost, the jump from a 98 to a 99 three ball is just going to cost you about four to five overall points, which is just too much of an investment. Also, gold limitless range provided great results as well, and I can confidently shoot from deep, especially with some takeover. Now, with a 97 three point rating comes an 82 mid range, so we bump this up to an 84 to get gold midi magician and then lastly bumped up our free throw to an 85 which is going to secure most of those technical free throws for your team and honestly I don't even think I've missed with an 85 free throw even with bad timings. For playmaking my idea here is that since I'm a shooting guard with high three point I'm not looking to pass as much so for pass accuracy a 74 is just fine which unlocks bronze touch passer. That's going to give you about a four to five percent speed boost on those touch passes. I personally hate having low pass accuracy and I didn't want to go below a 70 so I found 74 to be the perfect threshold for this specific build and what I'm trying to accomplish. For ball handle I went with an 86 to unlock Kemba Walker escape moves which has one of the best right stick crab moves in the game which is what I mentioned earlier in the gameplay. I dabbled with an 83 ball handle for Jamal Murray behind the back or an 84 for silver blow by but ultimately settled on an 86. I didn't want to go too high and I didn't want to go too low so this 86 rating seems just right. And then a 75 speed with ball for the badges and signature dribble styles. Here's the animations that I'm using if you want to copy them and while the playmaking doesn't look like much it's honestly more than enough and I have no complaints. And of course you guys know I couldn't complete this build without adding some defense here so the perimeter defense is decent as we went with a 72 that's going to give us bronze fast speed bronze workhorse and at a 71 perimeter we get bronze challenger which was one of the best bronze badges last year and while this category is not exactly filled out you can see we still have that 91 steal for all of the gold stealing badges that means gold glove gold right stick ripper gold interceptor all of that on top of a 97 three point rating with playmaking and finishing you will be able to get your team some stops then lastly for physicals we have an 81 speed which is the threshold for silver speed booster 73 
acceleration for silver blow by we skipped the strength and then went with a 60 vertical here which is actually very important as we get bronze rise up which is of course going to help us with those standing dunks and as an added bonus we get bronze aerial wizard at a 58 vertical and since we have that 70 plus dunk which unlocks pro alley oops this is a nice little synergy boost to help catch those lobs and then for stamina we went with a 96 because as a shooter the effects of fatigue can actually be greatly felt this year and having a higher stamina will obviously help offset that now that is all i have for you guys for my 6-5 perimeter threat shooting guard build so if you do want a shooting guard that can play defense with really high shooting that can dribble and can dunk like Giannis at times this might be the build for you if you found the video helpful or you like the build or you just like the video be sure to like the video it's been spill and i'm out later